Can you give me just a minute of your time? I promise it will be worth it. You see, God is speaking to someone watching this video. Maybe it's you. Just reminding you that he did not give you a spirit of fear. He didn't. I feel like I just hit a nerve, right? Am I getting warmer people of God? Let me know. See, some of us question why the next person has so much and we have so little. They never seem to struggle or worry about anything. When as we tend to worry about everything. Then you have to know what God said you are. God has birthed you with these talents. And we talk ourselves out of it. We talk ourselves out of the promise of God. The promise God has for us. You give the enemy too much credit. We talk ourselves out of the promise of God. Every day. Example. How many times have you said, oh, No, nah, I can never do that. I'm too shy. I'm too young. I'm too old. I don't make enough. We hear the first no from someone. Maybe someone that's not even important. And we take on that identity of this is all I will ever be. When our God in heaven has called us to be much more. God did not give you a spirit of fear. And I rebuke any attacks to your mind in the name of Jesus. In fact, the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. If we read a little further and we go to 1 John 4 and 8, it says there is no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to be has to do with punishment, and whoever fear has not been perfected in love. So what is that saying to us? If you believe that God loves you, then fear cannot exist. Walk in the power God gave you and claim what is yours. I believe in you. God bless you all.